Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I just finished uh, doing some other stuff on the Jeep, but I forgot to upload a part two to the battery install and when I moved the amplifier from underneath the seat to the back area of the vehicle, the, um, the battery on the uh, camcorder died on me prematurely, so let me show you what I switched over to. Got some background music for you. Um, as uh, you've already seen, got my voltmeter in the dash, and uh, here's my base knob here. I might be moving that shortly because I keep on smashing my thumb. So let me show you what I got. That's originally where the amp was, so I just have my RCAs on this side and my amp remote wire going back to the amp. My power wire is running from, actually I have to remove this panel here and it runs right along the bottom here into a little booty um, and then I got it actually underneath the carpeting so I got it running over here because it wouldn't fit in this little small area without me being able to put the bolt back in and uh, I had to take out the seat took all this stuff off so I can make sure I had all the room that I could to put it back in then I ran it from midway in here to the edge corner over here, I had to take all this stuff off, and it came it came out right there. Little little notch cut out right right inside there. So um, I originally had it grounded on the other side with the four gauge where I had here's my uh, my uh, remote base switch here, and then here. the wire is going straight to the back here loops around it is kind of long for now um, but I have to move these around here to get it where I want to put it it's not a final setup yet but heck can't drive around with nothing here I have the power and negative going straight to the amp without a fuse and then I have an inline fuse on the power wire where is it right here I had a 250 amp DB link fuse it back here. Um, so it is fused from the front to the back, but I got a circuit breaker on the, in the front and I got the fuse back here. The amp still has a uh, single 60 amp fuse in it as well. Typhonix TX1005D. Two ohms to here and two ohms to each one of these. And the amplifier knows that it needs to run at one, one ohm for 1000 watts. It's on pretty good. So there's my RCAs. There's my amp remote wire. And then there's my subs. Orion XTR Pros. Uh, running at 1 ohm. But I have... There's the prefab box that I've got them in right now. Um, I remounted all the subs when I did all the wiring and everything. So now there's no air leaks through here. And there actually it does sound a little bit better. And with my new battery that I have set up back here, um, I can actually turn it up a little bit more. And I think I ended up blowing up one of my door speakers, my front door um, Rockford Fosgate speakers. Um, there you have the uh, install on the uh, Jeep for the positive and negative power wires, the remote, uh, the battery, the second battery, and the amplifier installation movement. So. Um, real quick, if I didn't mention before, if I haven't showed you, uh, I got the big three done, and this is my power wire that's going to the back. I got a 200 amp circuit breaker on there. I don't even know who makes this thing, but uh, it work, works pretty good. So um, it's zero gauge all the way going to the back. Might need to tune up this spring, but we'll deal with that later. All right, YouTube. Peace out.